Hello, welcome to my show. This is um, this is episode thirty-eight. Um, let me give you the temperature because I know I didn't do it yesterday. But um, today is sixty-one, cloudy. Gonna be a high seventy-five. You know, I got the coastal uh, flood advisory. But um, it's looking pretty great. So, thinking about going to the beach right after this. So, I want to talk about a few things. Like, did you guys see the shrug? You know, President Shrug? Oh man, <laughs> I think I think it's great, man. I don't know. I don't even understand why people people are hating it, man. I mean, it, there's an article like that said that um the president's taking his job too serious. He's the president. That's what he's supposed to do. Take his job seriously. Wait, you want him clowning around, joking around, you know, playing or something? So he shrugs in the in the what was it? NATO the the meeting. How he's telling them what <laughs> that shoot. I thought it was great. <laughs> you know, I thought it was great. But um, you know, people people gotta complain. People gotta hate for some reason. He just mush the guy over like, look, this U.S. is first. You know, what I mean, that's how we gotta think. U.S. U.S. is first is is this is is supposed to be taken serious. It's not something you take lightly. You know, pay your dues. You know, pay your money. You need you need defense. You need defense. Pay the money. You know, and um, I think it was a I think it was a good statement. You know, that that we need to see. You know, uh. Sure, it probably might look a little, um, it's necessary, man. You know, we got all types of minds in the world. Sometimes, you know, things like that has to be seen. You know, so I thought it was great. So, that's that's what I got to say about that. Um, I'm really glad that I, that I did the right decision in voting. Um, besides that, again, it's the weekend, Friday, good, you know, I like it, because that way I can just, I don't have, I usually just do this Monday through Friday, and then, re, you know, relax on the weekend, reflect, you know, have a lot of more notes and stuff like that, because I have, maybe I'll have notes for like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but then Thursday and Friday, it's like, oh man, I gotta freestyle it, you know, <laughs> so, um, so it's Friday, man, finally, you know. Um, I'm going to um, do a couple of things I got to do. And um, take it from there. Thanks again for tuning in. Let me give, give you uh, um, <clears throat> What I would like to share. That's maybe, oh wow. The, the market is down. Dow, Nasdaq, and S&P. Yep. That's not good. I mean, depends on how you invest, right? So, um, how are you guys doing, ladies and gentlemen of the audience? We have to remain optimistic, you know, through all the turbulence. There's a lot of bad things happening. People trying to recreate 9-11. Um, you know, we just have to be resilient, you know. We have to be resilient and um, not let that destroy us, you know. We're more powerful. We're stronger. Um, we have to try to um, eliminate it. People that do that, you know, <clears throat> confused people, man. They're losers, man. Like, like, you know, they're confused. Like, they, they just don't, they just don't have the right teachings, you know. So, um, we just have to push, man. You know, we just have to be better, be resilient, make, make, um. 
our infrastructure is more stronger and you know um i agree with cutting all the spending too like we're, we're giving people government you know certain states billions of dollars just to fill certain potholes and you know post signs and when the problem is we need to re infrastructure you know we have to reconstruct the whole infrastructure so I think um, cutting the spending for a long time goal of restructuring the infrastructure is better than um, a short term spending a spree that that does nothing to the infrastructure but gives more of the same outcome which is um, decay you know uh, corrosion erosion you know uh, just a lot of things that doesn't work you know but I say if you cut the spending completely all that money use it to restructure the infrastructure more modernized more futuristic um, I'm with that movement, you know. I feel like that's a better movement than, you know, just spending billions to, to give to the state to, to cover a couple of potholes, you know, re re um repost a new couple of new signs, you know, just dip and dabble in in, 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 in a few little activities and, and and think you're doing good by the gut by the state, but um it's not enough, you know. So um, that 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 movement that that that's been created about cutting the spending, um, I don't see I don't see it, I don't see it um so so bad, you know. <clears throat> so that's what I want wanted to talk about that, and you know I I'm the guy that likes to want less regulation, you know, get rid of Frank Dodds Act, you know, all these paperwork's. You know, for nothing. I'm talking about floor to ceiling paperwork for no reason. You know, like it's just ridiculous. And then, then and then they use technical words, all these black dictionary laws and words, and you know, it's just confusing to the average people that can't disseminate and and um relate. But um, <clears throat> it has to be more um. Things have to be designed for people to understand, not to confuse the people, you know, because then you're just, um, then it seems like you're conniving, right? And you're, you're, um, you're, uh, manipulating. So, um, I'm with less regulation, get rid of all the paperwork, Frank God Act, you know, um, just um, the, the cut the spending in certain areas, you know. Just all that good stuff, you know. I, I think it's like mostly common sense, you know. Um, more people might not look at it like that. But um, we, need to, we need to advance, you know. We need to start seeing um, past the current situation. Because the current situation, there's no flying cars, <laughs> there's no solar panels, there's no um, green uh, house efficiency, <laughs> there's no, um, everything is mostly on a small scale, um, a lot of ideas tossed around, you know, I, I like to, I like to, um, See if we can make our words more powerful. You know, we have to do things for the sake of words. You know, like a person speaks, things should just happen. It shouldn't be a person speaks, oh, it has to go through this person, it has to go through that person, and all this the uh, back and forth talk between this side and that side, and then, you know, just clouds of words flying around and in the end it's like years of that and in the end the original idea of the conversation of the words never never was enacted and so <clears throat> I think we have to do things for the sake of words you know we have to just like 
stop all the all the BS, man. We have to stop all the BS. Um, all the back talk, all the lobbying, all the sideways stuff. You know, a person say something, we have to act like. I see, I see the president talking at the NATO meeting, and and people are just looking and, and, and just. Just looking at him speak, like, they, they don't even know how to act, like, I feel like somebody should have said, all right, president, you're right, you know, um, yeah, forgive us, we're going to start paying our debt, you know, something, you know, everybody's just standing there, like, looking like idiots, you know, <laughs> I mean, I thought it was ridiculous, I thought it was ridiculous, because the president said, it, look, you got to pay, you got to pay, uh, we need you to pay, he said it, like, several times, this is, like, repeating, you know, I don't feel like we should repeat. I feel like one time should be enough. And um, these people should understand it once. You know what I mean? No, but we we are repeating uh, certain words, and and I just I just don't like that. You know, I don't like that we have to repeat. I don't like that we have to use excessive amount of words when a few should be enough. You know, um, these people sh that were standing there looking like idiots should have been like. Um, you're right, you know, we're going to get on board, you know, hey, you guys are listening, <laughs> you know, um, I just feel like people should be moving and acting different, you know, um, and, and, and they're just looking at, at him like they can't understand what he's saying, you know, and, um, it's, it's a sad situation because he's speaking plain English, I'm pretty sure there's translators for those that don't understand English. I mean, this this is the high up, you know, and, and people are just looking at each other, you know. Like, you gotta see the clip, man. Um, Twitter and stuff like that. They'll probably show it, maybe. But um, it's just ridiculous, man. He's he's telling them that they gotta pay in the beginning, and then towards the end, he I think he says the same thing again. You know, it goes on repeat. But um, it's um, it's, it's a sad situation where um. We're um, we're just having words floating around, and and that's dangerous, cause you know it should it shouldn't be like that. It should be words coming out it meant to to cause an effect, you know. I've always I've always admired Newton's Newton's third law, you know, universal laws. For every action, there's an opposite reaction. But um, it's so true. If if the words are, are are powerful, you know, you know, if the words are like materialized, words come out. Reaction should be, you know, even better. But um, words gotta have you know solidif uh, solidity. So. I think words has um, things has to be done for the sake of words, so so people could be like you know um, oh when they say something it's done you know and rather than who who knows what now or what to believe you know who you know what's what who really runs the world you know like then people don't even know what's going on you know people just are lost you know where to turn to should we go this way should we go that way should we go down up which way back forward. <laughs> Nobody knows the truth because words are just flying around, you know, not doing anything. So, um, we have to do things for the sake of words, you know. That's what I say. That's what I I believe. Um, you know, um, even, even, even the Bible, you know, people, so many interpretations and stuff like that, but, um, Words have to be meant like, you know, they just have to be exact to the point. Um, it might sometimes it might seem harsh and stuff like that, but you you gotta remember you're speaking for a bigger, you know, audience and all. I just think like when you speak, things should be just like moving as you speak, you know. Uh, not just people standing there like looking like idiots, you know. But I, I love the shrug, man. He's just like, man, get out of here. I'm first, <laughs> you know. U.S. man, U.S. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. Um, a lot of people don't don't like it from him, 
but um, the spirit is, is definitely necessary. You know, I bet you if he, I bet you if the president was um anything else like Hispanic, black, or something, people probably would be saying, "Oh, cool," you know. <laughs> but um, he's he's he, he's who he is, you know. <laughs> so um, anyway, that was my episode for today. Uh, you know, words gotta count. Um, Friday. Going to the beach and just um, you know, think about think about that, you know. So you already know. Till next time, and don't forget subscribe to my channel, uh, purchase my album, um, shirts, subscribe to my book. Um, uh, <clears throat> You're gonna want to read it. Trust me, it's gonna be interesting. Um, and just you know, be on the lookout for more works. You know, I'm I'm talking to a few people about um, making some new songs. So it might be in the works. Just stick around. You know. Anyway, thanks for staying, um, tuning in. Episode. What's this episode again? Thirty-seven. And you already know.